Hey guys, Taylor the Destructor Nader here, and welcome back to another episode of Demolition Hordes. It is the morning of day 24. As you've seen, I am in the process of crafting out 600 rebar frames. I figured we better start getting our hands on some iron and clay today. Um, on top of, you know, our base work and stuff that we need to do. While we wait for the trader, we're just going to go ahead and nab some iron now. And that is because once this changes to a horde every night situation, providing we survive tonight and up until day 30 um we're gonna need iron moving forward we're gonna need rebar frames to craft uh to lay it down and make reinforced concrete right off the bat um otherwise we're not really gonna be well protected uh with future hordes whoops You know, it's really a good thing we have this nice little iron patch right under our house. We've also got a bunch of stuff to sell. I went through our inventory and noticed that we have almost all the parts to make the M60. Uh, I just need to grab duct tape, which I think we have some in supplies. Uh, if not, we can make some real quick. And then we got our plastic parts in here. Or duct tape. I made a bunch of repair. Oh, I think I turned them all into repair kits. Son of a bitch. Um, that's okay. Make some glue real quick. Let's go see Bob real quick. We'll sell some shit and then. We'll see if he's got the rest of the silver we need. Or silver. <laughs> rest of the steel we need. Sorry. I knew it began with an S. Words are hard. Eh. Good on the sugar butt. Howdy. He has no steel. Son of a bitch. Okay. Uh, we need to go get our gunpowder anyway. Let's go see Hugh. Worst case scenario, we'll take apart some street lights. This is beautiful. No public bathrooms here. And don't be peeing on the floor. Promises. Alright, tell me you got some steel. You don't. This kind of throws a wrench in the plans a little bit. Let's see if we can't find ourselves a little bit more steel. And then we'll head on and we'll get the M60 and ammo crafting. And we'll head over to the base and do some work. And from one streetlight, I think we got enough to make another, or to make the M60. Yeah, we do. Alright, let's get home, make the duct tape, and then we will get this baby crafted. Cutting it close on our fuel. Better gas her up. Beautiful! Absolutely fucking beautiful. Alright, uh, let's put our coin away. These bones. Just throw the rest of the stuff in here. Let's 
get some more ammo crafting. Since we got ourselves a new M60, let's go ahead and make a bunch of 762. As much 762 as we can. I only that much. Need more bullet tips. Buy through that ammo like no tomorrow. All right. While that stuff is crafting, let's drop off this stuff and we will get over to the base. All right, the first thing we need to do is repairs. Any holes we see to the outside, we need to fix immediately. Um, then after that, we need to uh, seal up any other exits we can find. Uh, we need to make some iron hatches too. Alright, our first wave will be to slow them down here, hold them off at the door as long as possible. We're going to immediately just back up and continue onward. Each doorway will give us a chance to take a breather. Thanks to these hatches. We'll just have to keep our ears open and then as they break their way through these doors. These barbed wire fences should slow them down. We hear the doors break back here. We have a chance to actually make a break for it. Let's go ahead and take out this door. This will be a good place to watch them bunch up anyway. Not that these hatches will hold them, it's just another ploy to slow them down. So then they'll have to jump over it, and it'll be a good time for us to kind of make our getaway and fall back. See, this is why we need rebar frames. Not to mention, once rebar frames are upgraded, it goes straight to reinforced concrete, which is a lot stronger than your typical concrete. I feel like we could be much further ahead. We're gonna end up spending all day doing this shit. Ah, oh, we could leave the store. We'll just throw a hatch here. Another fallback point. We'll keep some barbed wire fences on us too, 
that'll be our fast way out and we will use this rooftop as an escape route we're not going to be able to have time to set up a whole thing to go through the entire base but you know i think maybe we could do a whole series at some point using the shotgun messiah base as a true headquarters i think that would be badass all right uh shit okay Thought we were gonna get hurt. All right, so if this is my way in, let's fill up this whole side. Fences. Well, not the whole side, but kind of randomly place these. Oops! Shit! We'll hop up on the counter to get over there. Sounds like we got a wandering horde. Go deal with them. You know, I never thought we would do a whole episode where it's basically base building. Alright, let's remove these bricks. And we'll place a bunch of these uh, barbed wire fences out here. Alright, that'll be good. <laughs> Super half-baked plan. You know, I thought we were going to use up more construction materials than that. Probably will be moving forward. Let's go ahead and put our hatches in here. We'll keep the barbed wire fences on us. Let's grab our new gun. We'll give this a couple more minutes to finish making some pipe bombs. Um, while we're waiting, let's mine a little bit more iron and repair our stuff. Better idea. Let's get ourselves a little bit of lead because we need to start crafting bullet tips anyway. Alright guys, we will have a plan A and a plan B. Plan A, we back them up onto the roof and hold them off as long as we can. If we successfully hold off the horde until then, or have it completely, well, not completely thinned out, but pretty well thinned out, then we'll hold them here at the base. Uh, we could keep going up the roof and they could just, just follow us. Plan B, we hop on the motorcycle and we book for it. Well guys, moment of truth, I really think the Shotgun Messiah would be fantastic to use as a base, possibly even as a home with how big it is, but 
You know, if we just, if we had more time, if I had a whole week, I would turn this whole thing into a mega base, make it so it's more of a maze and have them lead them through the entire thing. But with only a day's worth of work, uh, well, I hope we're going to do good. Let them come. I hear him. Let's go ahead and eat a skull crusher now. Shit, they're ripping through that other uh, hatch. Here they come. Our defenses are working great. Slowing them down just like I had hoped. Let's break in our new gun. Oh my god! I fucking love the M60! Merry Christmas! Hit him, Sludgy! I know that was kind of an odd place for him, but... As long as this slows him down a little bit, I'm happy with that. Hey, thanks for pushing that loot bag over here. Some cash, all right. Oop. Oh well. Oh shit, that door's not there anymore. Oh shit, we need to go. That sucks too. Oh god, where'd you come from? Oh my god. Oh god, no. We gotta go. We gotta go. Take a bunker crush. Put up these hatches. Slow them down a bit. What? Where'd you come from? Aw, oh, shit. And just like that, the whole base went to shit. Oh, God. We're at our, like, last fallback point. That don't even sound safe. What? Yeah, they already bust. Oh, shit. Oh, God, no. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, we need to go. I guess we're leading them up through the base.
I don't want to abandon the shotgun Messiah HQ this early. Um, give me this barbed wire fence. Might not be good, guys. Might not be good at all. They're already in the business office. We're not stopping, though. Let's keep going. Did not plan for this. Should have brought the hatches with us. Since we're not using the pistol, let's put the pipe bombs there. You know what I could do? First, let's close the store. We'll make a handful of wooden hatches, just in case we gotta fall back again. Close the store. Well, I figured that more of them would have followed me up. You know what? We got one hour left. Want to do something stupid? Oh shit. Let's grab this and go. <laughs> Jump over our hatches. Let's uh Uh-oh. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm getting bold and stupid. Oh duh, I forgot I moved the pistol. There I was looking for my pipe bombs, they were there the whole time. Officially morning, we survived.
Here, another one beating on a wall somewhere. Eh, yeah, come around to the front. They started punching holes in walls. Attack assault rifle. Uh, let's go ahead and take that painkiller. And we'll scrap these boots and take the attack assault rifle. I'm good in the water. Oh, I was hoping to hit him and throw him on the mine. Well, that went a little bit better than I thought it was going to. Let's get to our mini bike or motorcycle. Gotta say, I was expecting more of a push from the horde, but still. Because, I mean, they came to this. Uh, let's unload real quick. We're encumbered. But they came to this like I thought they were going to. Then they broke in through here. Overall, not bad, considering the little time I had to prep. Even though we did basically take the whole day. So anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, the next horde will be on day 27. Um, looking forward to that. And then after that, we'll have the horde on day 30, and then it'll become a horde every night type of deal. And we'll just see how much of the town they demolish. But anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you're looking forward to more. Um, by the time this is aired... I probably will have already recorded and started editing uh, Metroid Dread. Uh, if you're a fan of Metroid, I recommend checking it out. Um, otherwise, stick around for more Demolition Hordes and Darkness Falls. And I will catch you guys in the next one.